My name is George Philly, and I am the head of the Digital Transportation Infrastructure Group, which is a smart connectivity play within a broader uh, location cloud portfolio at here. Today, what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is some of our cloud services, and more importantly, the relationship we have with AWS relative to our activities within vehicle automation and intelligent transportation. So for those of you who don't know who here is, we're a global location technology company that bases itself on the development of automotive grade, high definition mapping, analytics, and location-based services that we provide to a wide variety of industries within the automotive, consumer, enterprise, and government sectors. Now, our time is short today, so I thought this slide would be a good representation of the industry-wide collaboration that's necessary to make automated driving a reality, as well as the role that our company plays to make that happen. As the world moves closer to highly automated driving, what you'll see is the need for vehicle sensor information, contextual information about what's going on on the world around us, as well as real-time big data analytics. All this will require real-time data capturing, processing, and specific location information sharing on a massive scale. This is clearly important because it points to the reason why we picked AWS as our infrastructure as a solution partner in conjunction with our cloud uh, endeavors. Now, what I'd like to talk about here with this uh, video is an understanding of what's going on when you talk about automated driving. So automated driving is predicated on uh, the ability to be able to understand where you're at, where you're going, and to make decisions in an automated versus a personalized way. What you can see here is a product that we have developed called the HD Live Map. This is the industry's first cloud-based mapping asset that supports connected driver assistance as well as vehicle automation. This is a cloud-based solution that's tiled. These tiles represent digital understandings of the world that are confined to two kilometer by two kilometer areas and are provided to the vehicle so that they can orientate themselves to the environment around them. Each tile represents or has three layers to it, an HD map, an activity layer, and an analytics layer. The HD map provides the detail of the road, such as lane markings, attributes, and even the specific geometry of the road itself. This information defines the world that the vehicle behaves in. Once the vehicle understands where it's at, it needs to continuously update itself to be able to have a very fine understanding of its location. You can see how the vehicle in this demonstration is continuously looking for different objects. Those are objects that reside in our map and are used for the triangulation or the ability for the vehicle to have a very uh, clear understanding of its location so that it can not only operate safely, but it can do so with, through legal maneuvers. The next area is the activity layer. This is all about understanding the dynamic events that go on that change the nature of the road, such as weather, construction, you know, temporary lane closures, and accidents. This information is provided as a service down to the vehicles within those uh, tiles so that the vehicle can understand what's going on around it as well as outside the view of its onboard sensors. Finally, we have an analytics layer. This is all about analyzing human driving behavior, and it's really important to, from our perspective in terms of adoption. 
What this does is it actually allows the vehicle to drive like a human versus a machine. What we do to make this happen is, within the framework of every tile, we collect and process massive amounts of probe data and analyze it to be able to determine driving behavior profiles, whether they're uh, aggressive, median, or passive in nature. This information is downloaded to the vehicle and then utilized by it to not only drive safely, but allow the vehicle to drive in a manner that is conducive to what the people in the car would consider normal driving. Now this is actually really interesting because when you look at how this works, when you start taking into account the activity layer influencing the analytics layer, you start recognizing the complexity when you start getting things like rain and snow being involved in a traditional drive and then mapping that up against what constitutes an aggressive drive within that weather. All this information is compressed into the tiles and is sent over the air in real time with centimeters level of accuracy and all with the support of the AWS infrastructure. Now, why did we pick AWS? Well, for one thing, it's scalability. AWS allows us to onboard new customers anywhere in the world. Their architecture also provides us with geographic proximity nodes that allows us to meet local data storage regulations as well as uh, to be able to meet uh, low latency performance specifications. We also see AWS's multi-zone reliability and disaster recovery capabilities as being key to our ability to be able to meet our customers' performance requirements. And we depend on AWS for on-demand scaling to allow us to handle things like localized traffic conditions and to be able to do high volume, large batch processing things for such uh, features as our humanized driving. Now, AWS allows us to do a couple things. When you talk about our services, like the HD Live Map, it allows us to be able to scale our infrastructure from a size as well as a cost standpoint to the requirements of our portfolio. AWS also, and maybe most importantly, allows us to focus. We can now spend time looking at what we do best, our core competencies around cloud computing as well as working on a vehicle automation. I want to thank you for the time that you've allowed me to have here, and please enjoy your stay in Chicago. Thank you. <laughs>